Hey guys, I'm Liam Smith with Agent Smith Voice Productions. On October the 3rd, 1942, Nazi Germany launched the world's first long-range guided ballistic missile, and this was the first artificial object to launch into space on the 20th of June, 1944. The V-2 rocket, the second of the Vigertungswaffen, or retaliation weapons, and the successor of the V-1 flying bomb. Despite being originally designed for space, this rocket was utilized in terror attacks. Some of these included Paris, Belgium, and Great Britain. In London, an estimated 2,754 civilians were killed and over 6,523 injured. Powered by a rocket engine burning a mix of alcohol water and liquid oxygen, the V-2 blasted its way to the edge of space before falling back to Earth at supersonic speed. It was also very expensive, at a time when Nazi Germany desperately needed more economical weapons. Despite the highly advanced technological aspects, the V-2 rocket was manufactured by slave laborers from concentration camps, and an estimated 20,000 inmates who were subjected to horrific conditions died of making these weapons. The scientists and engineers responsible for the V-2 went on to play key roles in the post-war space programs of the United States and the Soviet Union, particularly aerospace chief engineer and space architect Werner von Braun. A very controversial individual, he was a member of the Nazi Party and the SS, where he would play a key role at NASA in the 1960s and 70s, overseeing the Saturn rocket program, which enabled the Apollo missions to the moon. By the end of the war, the Americans, Soviet Union, and British desperately wanted to get their hands on this highly advanced technology. But did you know that another country was able to obtain this weapon after the end of the war? It was Australia. In today's video, I discuss how Nazi Germany's V-2 rocket made its way down. More than 70 years ago, visitors to the long-range weapon establishment of Salisbury in Adelaide North witnessed an astonishing sight. Pointing towards the sky, in all its glory, was a Nazi V-2 rocket. A last-ditch effort by the Germans to turn the tide of the war and bringing with it a wave of destruction and terror. Mounted on its Meilerwagen, the formidable weapon loomed above its new owners. The rocket had arrived in Adelaide months earlier, when it was offloaded at Outer Harbour in October 1947. In fact, this was not the first V-2 to arrive in Australia. In March 1947, a ship docked in Fremantle that had also passed on to Adelaide, and there it was transported to Sydney. The weapons components were taken after the conclusion of World War II as part of a mission by the Allies in capturing and testing German military technology, known as Operation Backfire. The V-2 departed London's docks aboard the vessel Karamir, in February 1947, it was taken to Australia as a museum piece, and there was little to discern which launch site it had come from. The more complete V-2 rocket was actually taken around the country as part of a fundraising campaign, and this section of archive footage and photos shows it outside the old Parliament House. One of the fundamental purposes of having the V-2 rocket in Australia was to boost public interest in science and, in particular, the emerging field of space research. In 1948, the media was invited to view the almost complete V-2 rocket at Salisbury. Scientists were studying the weapon for design specifications, which became part of a local program to build a rocket defense system. The rocket was eventually painted over in a different color scheme, and in 1954, it was briefly put on display at the Malala Air Show and a Salisbury School. The V-2 rockets are now currently in storage at the Australian War Memorial Facility in Canberra, 
I unfortunately was unable to see the more complete rocket last year. But hopefully when we get her vaccine for the COVID-19 virus and things return to normality, this amazing piece of highly advanced technology will undergo a restoration project. Next time in my war videos, Yamato, the biggest battleship of World War II. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. I really enjoy making these videos. And don't forget to give this a like and to subscribe for more content. You can also help support my channel by subscribing to my Patreon or donating to my PayPal. The links are in the description box down below. Finally, to my loyal subscribers, your contribution and ongoing support for this channel has been so helpful, it really means the world to me. Liam Smith with Agent Smith Voice Productions. Until then, stay tuned. I'll see you next time.